special, weird, nerve-wracking, a little combo of it all. I'm kind of in a rush here, maybe talking a bit faster. So today I am getting a tattoos. <gasps> I know, kind of crazy. This is me talking to my past self or future self. Obviously my whole life, I can't exactly say I've always wanted a tattoo. I didn't have anything wrong with tattoo. Also, sorry if my skin's like super dry and stuff. Like I'm literally just woke up. I was never against tattoos. I liked them. Obviously the trend of tattoos during the times when I was younger were more, I'm not gonna say like the right word, be like American traditional, just like the big sleeves with the big designs. And obviously I never liked pain. I still don't like pain. But I never liked it. So it was like, why would I want to intentionally like hurt myself? Cause word around the block is that tattoos fucking hurt, right? I feel like come of the recent years, like I love the scrapbook look, minimal, really tiny tattoo, micro tattoos. And I was like, wait, that's like low key perfect for me. I love how those look. I love everything about them. I feel like with that and then plus Joe got a tattoo last, let's just say like in the last year, it was January or something like that. And I'm not playing a little, oh my god, my boyfriend got a tattoo, so I'm getting one too. I think like I was thinking about them, but I wasn't really gonna like take that step. And then once he kind of had his tattoo, it made me go, oh, like it's actually not that bad. Do what you want, life is short. Will I 100% admit that I'm under the fear and I'm a victim of the generation before and kind of like their feeling about tattoos and how you'll never get a job and people won't take you seriously and all that stuff. Obviously right now, I'm not getting full sleeve or anything, so it's a different circumstance. And again, sorry if I'm talking really fast, but obviously I'm sure every single generation will tell you that the generation before thought things and things change. What the fuck? We're in the prime of it. We have no idea what's gonna happen. Shit changes. I feel like nowadays more people are getting tattoos. Like it's more common to find someone that's like, oh you yeah, have a tiny one like right here. Yikes, that's why I'm getting one, but Anyway, that's kind of the whole journey that I'm at. I got here, I was like, oh, I really want to get one. Or this appointment, I did a lot of research, found a lot of people. So I'm actually at two sessions. This week, I'm getting tattoos done by, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'll figure it out later. Tevis Tattoos, absolutely love his work. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going with Tevis for this one. In two weeks, I know, I'm getting a butterfly tattoo by a female artist, which I'm excited about. I'm excited about today. I gave you a quick rundown. Now let me kind of describe my tattoos that I'm planning on getting. Yeah! Tattoo number one I'm getting is just a tiny heart. I'm gonna get it on the back of one of my arms here. And it kind of sucks. I don't know how I feel about it because I am very insecure about my arms right now. I feel like they're much bigger than they usually are. And obviously I do suffer body dysmorphia. I do know that that's how I feel about my arms. So it makes me nervous because I'm like, you have this whole vision of what you think it's gonna look like and stuff. And it's like, what if I hate it because my arms are bigger, yada, yada, yada. That's that. Anyway, I'm getting that one because I remember when I was younger and I saw Kylie Jenner have it and I thought it was like the cutest thing because it was so tiny it was so small I love hearts love hearts it was just something that always stuck with me where people were like if you ever got a tattoo what would you get and I always said that one so it's like why would I not follow up on that tattoo number two I'm getting is FR and not FR E-H-F-A-R which stands for everything happens for a reason if anyone knows me I am a firm believer in that obviously a lot of people are but like it's really helped me transform how I look at life accept the journey that I'm on and trust that the journey I'm on because like when you think of literally everything it either built you into the person that you were it broke broke you down showed you how strong you were maybe it's something exciting and it's taking you to the next step like literally everything's meant to happen how it's meant to and I'm getting that in a cursive font. Oh no, no, I said cursive instead of just cursive. Yeah, right along the side of my hip. And then the last one I'm getting today is 444, which means do not fear the journey of your life. Don't be afraid. Like anything that you're feeling right now and any fear that you have, release it just because just know and trust. It's again that combination of that. that trust again, that trust. And just trust the journey and your intuition. Or not intuition, because that's one one one. 
but kind of the same they all kind of ties into the same thing and you know when I started getting into angel numbers that was the number that I was seeing all the time at the end of the day we have no idea whether there's a heaven or hell it's angels past life like all that different stuff we have no idea until we actually hit that point you just trust and believe what's true to you on this life journey I mean for me if it's even if it's a whole bunch of crap whatever it was was enough to make me feel confident and feel better to take those steps again I was at a point in my life I was unsure how things were going maybe I'll share that story another time it was just a number that I saw and it just gave me that courage inside to say and for whatever reason whether it's fake or not seeing those numbers all the freaking time was enough to give me that courage to choose what I want to do for me I'm on this right journey that I'm planning on getting that rib like right here or something I think the nerves are starting to hit me now like it's kind of hitting me that this is happening but it's still not a hundred percent yet I'm really nervous right the fuck now that's hitting me for sure anyway I need to go take a shower figure out the situation get a little bite to eat catching the 1101 C train transferring to the L, walk nine minutes, and I should be there. But that's why I'm doing all this talking. So if I don't end up filming filming till I get there, you know exactly what's going on, exactly what I gotta do. Bye! Outfit choice because this here, easy lift, pass my hands on the right now. This is trade, able to get here or take it off. Um, pretty obvious. I wear this dress all the time. But Okay. I feel like I'm about to hyperventilate. Definitely nervous right the fuck now. That's hitting me for sure. And oh, not this camera feeling heavy. <laughs> anyway, we're doing this. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna see how it feels when we're actually there. But definitely for sure hitting me. And I would recommend to anyone, do not wait till the last minute to start processing shit, because then it feels like an overload. Yeah! Now I'm dealing with Joseph, I'll point out people. I'm like, that's gonna be you soon. I'm like, like, this is gonna be her soon. I just had to get out my emotions because like my stomach literally feels like a volcano waterfall mixed with like an m m machine type thing like it's going wild you're gonna watch this after and you're gonna laugh hopefully okay rushing eating a snickers bar right now bruh but that's it we're out there you got this button okay so we had an elevator situation where we spent like 15 minutes in that other place trying to go in the elevator or basically we had to come to this other side and they gave us a special pass and we have a special elevator. I feel so bad because now I'm gonna be like, hey, sorry I'm late elevator situation. Also, can I vlog? Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom. Let me do what I do best. Slow down, let me talk to you. Don't tell me about your worries. I ain't staying till the afternoon. I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth. I loved you from a distance, now I can't even stay close to you. But who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom. Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been facing circles in my bedroom I've been tracing secrets in your heirlooms Calculating all the aftermath Now when nemesis a menace in my mind But protagonist and all my drink A ceiling on my doubts I need healing in this drought I've been singing to the ceiling Learning how to live without uh, I hear you calling my name The feelings we couldn't contain Falls that we had were made There really no one to blame My ashes that came from blame I trust you but I was raised If I could I call you I'd tell you I need you I wouldn't know what else to say but Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been pacing circles in my bedroom I've been tracing secrets in your heirlooms Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been pacing circles in my bedroom I've been tracing secrets in your heirlooms
Has it sunk in? I mean, it, but I feel like because their timing is how I wanted it, that honestly, I feel like it kind of has because now I'm not over. Like, I feel like it would be different if I was overwhelmed because I didn't like them, or if I was also overwhelmed because I mean, they were too big. Right, but it feels the same, and it's yeah. just like, and I love that this placement I got for this the one. The red is amazing. I'm not really how pretty. The red is gonna look. And, and I, this one is perfect too because I mean, guess yeah. what? My arms can hang down. Oh, I forgot to ask him about like how I can sleep. Let me go do that. Yeah, I'm sure. He also said we should check out the rooftop. Like it's a super beautiful rooftop. So let's do that. Okay. Hi, it's me, Deja. Give him my review. Absolutely amazing. Like a perfect person, perfect tattoos, perfect experience. It was absolutely amazing. And I feel good. Do I? Okay. Pain level, heart, heart was like literally nothing. Like it, it didn't even feel as aggressive as when I gave you that example of that. Like it literally felt like, like nothing. That's this one I was super nervous about because obviously people talk about the rib area. That was like nothing either. It was just longer. The only one where I started to feel something I'm like, okay, I can see why tattoos hurt was my hip, surprisingly. Like I thought that was going to be easy because you know that fat ass. <laughs> A lot of meat, but that almost felt like someone was like perking a little. So there are some moments where I was kind of like, it didn't hurt, but it was nothing like. <laughs> so other than that, perfectly fine. So happy. I'm officially dish him, but I'm officially not. Definitely would come back to him. Definitely would recommend him to hella people. Like that was absolutely amazing. Mini little heart. The yeah. The okay. Okay. Gandhi and remember that there's second skin, so obviously your skin is not that yes, wrinkly. Yes. Did they have his birthday? It was so crazy because while I was literally getting that, right before it was about to start, I saw 111 and 222, and I was like, I'm up. Yeah, it was, one, one, it was 111, I think, when you started. No, it was crazy. And like, then isn't this saying, address 111 or much? The trouble? address is 111. The angel numbers are everywhere. <laughs> I'm so happy. I can see how people get a tattoo and then they're like, oh, I just want to like go out and have fun. But oh. like, I just want to reintroduce myself. My name oh, is Deisha Shaman and I have three tattoos. Yeah, no, so now she thinks she's more yeah. Guess what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we both have the thing. Okay, okay, and get on dermis. <laughs> so happy. Like I don't even feel any different. My arm feels a hair a bit What's sore. This is <laughs> So I lose myself in labor lose myself. Time to cry when the day's filled Time to cry. But when the lights turn low And there's no one here Can I shed the tear? Can you lullaby me? Mm -hmm. Oh, so baby, can you love me? I really want that la 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 So love my body Yeah, 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 yeah. 
like I should just handle this marshmallow, but like. Jesus. That was cold. Let me know. Let me know. Why are you always so shy? <laughs>